Hello everyone. So today we will study about how in Gpon the packet is transformed from the Ethernet packet into gem frame. Gem means Gpon encapsulation method. In Ethernet packet, there are many parameters. First come is inter packet gap. The inter packet gap is a pause which may be required between network packets or network frames to distinguish between two different Ethernet packets. Second comes is preamble. It informs the receiving system that a frame is starting and enables synchronization. SFD start frame delimiter signifies that the destination MAC address field begins with the next byte. Then comes destination MAC. It identifies the receiving system. Source MAC. It identifies the sending system. Length or type. It defines the type of protocol inside the frame, for example, IPv4 or IPv6. Then comes the client data. It contains the payload data. Padding data is added to meet the minimum length requirement for this field. FCS frame check sequence contains a 32-bit cyclic redundancy check, which follows detection of corrupted data. And in the end, EOF signifies end of frame. From destination address to frame check sequence, the Ethernet packet is copied as it is in the gem frame in its gem payload. In the gem header, first comes is payload length indicator. It defines amount of bytes in payload part of the gem frame. Then comes gem port ID. The process of port identification relies on a unique identifier known as the gem port ID. Then comes payload type indicator. It defines type of carrier data in the frame. It might be gem OAM message or user data. If it is user data, PTI also indicates end of the data frame. The CRC field provides error detection and correction on bandwidth allocation field. Thank you.